from the House of Blues on the Sunset Strip. You're listening to 97.1 KLSX, the classic rock station. We're going to, I believe, we're just about ready to start. Oh, here it goes. They're opening the bar. That's swinging away now. Cynthia and I are upstairs in the second level, and the bar at the House of Blues has just started swinging over mid-air over the dance floor and opening up, revealing the stage from where we're seated in the second level of this most extraordinary club. You can hear the helicopter sound effect. The lights have gone down. Ladies and gentlemen, David Lee Rock. I seen a beat in the minute, man, it got a skill with a radio from the light for you, yeah. Ain't it pretty to you tonight? Hey, that's all right. You take up all your time, then leader of the pack. Just when you get that red, red slit, you call the fast rats. Listen, hear me now. Big train. Are you an engineer? Big train. Oh, passenger. Big train. So whatever gets you to the top of the line. to Panama one time. Let's say that. Let's go! 
say. Come on, honey, put them straight. here tonight can you hear me out there can you hear me we are going live ladies and gentlemen live over 97.1 there's got to be a million of our closest friends tuned in hunkering down next to the stereo even as we speak and we the lucky few here where all the light is coming from where all the heat is coming from i'm feeling it i can feel it there's a vibration in the air there's something in the air to hold it ronnie hold it can you feel it out there tonight <laughs> yeah. Some kind of feeling. Whoa! imitating. Cause if it's hard, if it's hard, all my life's been finger pain. Check it out though. Had my best life though, with a big easel. See, I'd rather be an art project <laughs> than just weasel out with wearing one to come to suspect the whole fucking experience. Is it like doing 90 more times now? 
down the winds in your beer can. That single moment there, is this on a bungee jump? Is this you done going down? And now we're coming back up. You don't like the way we drive? Get off the sidewalk, huh? Yeah. Can you hear me out there? Can you hear me out there? Before I made it, made it, it was all hit or miss. And then I got lucky and I made it, and it was all take a hit of this. <laughs> and I'd love to stick around and talk philosophy, but I gotta take a piss. Honey, that philosophy runs right through you. Yeah, take it from me, sugar. I got a lot, a lot of. I got a lot of experience. That's right. That's right. Coming back up now. Coming up now. Hey. Look out, baby. This world ain't flat. Is it? You can feel it right in your stomach. That special moment, lost in time. One with the show. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, baby. Sorry, baby. Look at all the people here tonight. Can you hear me out there? Can you hear me? That's and this joint is jumping. The band is pumping. Woo, it's about time we finally play in my own backyard, huh? Jeez. It's been a few seasons, man. I can't see all the... Turn up my voice out there, Karen, a little bit. I want, I want to just kind of say hello. And I can't see quite everybody. It's a little bit dark here, man. I say... I know what I want to tell you. Have you ever noticed that like in a place like this, 
You usually see somebody like across a dance floor or you see somebody across like a concert gig like this or at a restaurant and it's dark like this, right? And it's dark. And you see, and guys, we'll see a girl across the dance floor in a place like this and we'll go, Pew. Whoa, she's standing in half of the shadow and everything like that. Women, you do the same thing. You see the fellas stand across a place like this all done. See how dark it is? Women, you see a fella, it's like, boom. Ab actually, women are capable of multiple, boom. You know, it's like, whoa. <laughs> Yeah, and, and, and it all happens. You see somebody, boom, your heart goes out to him. You walk over, how do you do? Bond, James Bond. Yeah, you say hello and everything like that. You fall in love. You make a commitment. Maybe you get married. Maybe you have children. Maybe it changes the rest of your life. And it all starts in a room so dark, you would never buy a goddamn horse in it. Which is probably where I met my last girlfriend. I'm not bitter. And I have a good say <laughs> a fashion model. You know, the you know the definition of a fashion model, yeah? Small replica of the real thing. Woman drove me to drink. Tonight I get the opportunity to thank her. If it wasn't for the pretzels, I'd probably be on a completely liquid diet at this point. For the last three weeks, coming... <laughs> For the last three weeks before we get on the road, she'd say to me, Dave, why can't you be like when I first met you? And I'd say, because I was drunk when I first met you. <laughs> I to tell you, man. And then you know what becomes the most important part of the relationship is when you go, honey, I can't take any more of this. I'm going out for a ride. And you walk in the garage and go, yep, she's my machine. Driving in my 57 dream Damn straight, I don't know just where I've been And I'm coming to you by my boy and send me to She's pretty old Been love to feel her each and every night But I'm sure she's old Driving in my 57 dream Damn oh. straight She's running over time Been coming to you by my boy
Africa season. to David Lee Roth live from the House of Blues. This is 97.1 KLSX. Lord have Lee Roth live on stage at the House of Blues. I'm Jim Ladd. You're listening to 97.1 KLSX. Yeah. She was a great pal. Yeah. 
you turn up the volume Did he hear a demon's call? She said, do me like Chopin or don't fuck me at all Tell me what you want And I'll take a seat and ride Assume the position I'm on a lesson You can do your pen and try to law with that special sin Two birds with one stone special bargain prize check it I just gotta know Tonight show theme to anybody else in here tonight. Is there a solo in the house tonight? up here Cosmo whoa a perfect time if there was ever a time to interview introduce the various members of the band ladies and gentlemen I give to you the last great remaining master of jungle music left alive today in his own country he is a god to his people he has been brought here as a gift for you at the cost of many lives but that is of no concern for tonight you are my guest Ladies and gentlemen, if it's electrical and it's a guitar, go no farther. Big hand for Rocket Rashad on the electric guitar. Give it up. <laughs> and if you like a little poom, ladies and gentlemen, the Prince of Poom. I hope we're on a tape delay for the broadcast. Do you think we are? You think so? You know, that's an amazing, is that a plunging neckline you have there? Don't catch your foot in it. Yeah, you're gonna say. Ladies and gentlemen, people talk about, oh, this guy's got the shit, that guy's got the shit. Some people say, well, this guy's got the shit, that guy has got some real shit, and some people say, this guy's just shit. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this guy's shit is so shitty, this is the shittiest shit that was ever shitted upon this shitty stage, no shit. Ladies and gentlemen, on drums, Ron Wixo, give it away! What's that? Hey, don't give me any shit, huh? Yeah. We'll put some bass in my voice. Give me, give me some bass in my headphone here, baby. I want to teach you, you know, when you put a little bass in your voice, that's how you speak the blues. I can teach you how to speak the blues. It goes like, 
It doesn't matter what you say, as long as you say something kind of sexy at the end of it. So you can go like this, you can go. See that I love you, baby, now, but I feel it as a swing it all night long. You might want to add a physical exclamation point and say, yo, baby. It's not what I love it, I'm not feeling this, same with love, but it's the that feels so good. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if your pants get lumps when the bass man thumps, this is the man with the thunder hand. Give it away for James Hunting on bass guitar. Give it away, give it away! Hold it, freeze, tug, don't move. Put the light on tug. Cosmo, put the light on tug. Freeze, don't move tug. Put the light, step over here, but don't move your hand. See that? The left hand, the left hand. These are tricks done by professionals under professional supervision and was practiced by professionals. I don't recommend anything that you see up here for home use or you could wind up in drug rehab too. That's right. Baby. No, no, look, it's the left hand. You know why keyboard players always hold the drink in the left hand? It's so they can play the solo with the right hand and their fingers don't get cold, baby. That's right. That's good, baby. You got all kinds of uses for that right hand, don't you? Ladies and gentlemen on the keyboards, Mr. Brett Tuggle. And you're probably wondering, so what's your job description, Roth? I know, I know the waiters and waitresses are struggling around through this glut of humanity in here. They're thinking, oh, so what's your job description? Hey, don't forget to tip your waiters and your waitresses and your bartenders and bartenderesses. Ladies and gentlemen, they have families and drug problems of their own. Give them a good tip, huh? What do I do? Take me along for speed dash and general insecurity? <laughs> what can I say? I'm just a gigolo. But they will come a day when you will pass away. Why would they say about me? When the end comes, I know I was just a chicken low. Life goes on without me. I'm just a chicken low. Everywhere I go, you will know the part of the swing. Beat for every night, selling you your man. Bozy bozy bop, city bop. Sweet mama. 
come and come and take a chance with me. Cause I ain't so bad. Oh, there's that saxophone. David Lee Roth live from the House of Blues on Sunset Boulevard. You're listening to this concert live as it happens over 97.1 KLSX, and we'll be right back. We are back live at the House of Blues on the Sunset Strip. You're listening to 97.1 KLSX, the classic rock station. See if you recognize this little song.
about, huh? Yeah. I was having a discussion backstage and somebody said, Dave, what is it you always write about, man? You always write the same kinds of lyrics, the same subject matter? I said, oh, nonsense, man. He said, no, no. They said, you know, you got to be concerned in 1994 with the difference between right and wrong. I told him, man, I'm concerned with the difference between wrong and fun. Man. You get it? But in, if, if we're going to review this intelligently, however brief, you would notice that most lyrics, rock, lyrics, pop, lyrics, country western, it never changes. Never, ever changes. Same thing. Over and over again. Same over the year. When you take the politics out of it, you take the, the whales and the trees and the baby seals out of it, it's usually the same subject matter over and over. When it's country western, flamenco, disco, it doesn't matter. I'll sum it up in one title for you. It goes, baby, I love you and I think you should love me. No, no, that's just the first part. Sweetheart, I love you and I can sense that you're beginning to love me too. I love you, you love me. This could be an everlasting love. This could be a permanent love. Wait a minute, our love is changing. I feel our love is slipping away, sweetheart. I can see it in your eyes. I love you, darling, but I got to go. I love you, sugar, but you got to go. In fact, I'm so miserable without you, it's almost like you're right here with me now. <laughs> you know that you've felt that before, haven't you? You know, you see? That's an amazing outfit you almost have on there. Yeah, that's it. Are you having a good time tonight? You see? Woo! You see? You're having a catharsis? What's that? You've had five or six since the beginning of the show, huh? Look at the smile, baby. I'm gonna make a dedication just for you, for your big, pretty smile here. Just for you. We'll include everybody else. Ladies and gentlemen, I wanna dedicate this next song to everybody here tonight who's ever been in love. Didn't get much of a cheer, did it? Huh? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to dedicate this next selection to each and every one of you here tonight who's ever wished that you were in love. It's a little better, huh? Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to dedicate this next selection to each and every one of you here tonight who are in love, but you wished that you were the fuck out of love. Well, so much for the family unit in Southern California. All a roundabout way of saying, hey, you never know. I got it now. And if the 
you're saying that we're crazy, well, hey, you probably know. We know, you know, know. Oh. Never. Sing it, boys. You never, never. never. You never. But it's my life. 
from the House of Blues on the Sunset Strip, and we are bringing it to you exclusively over 97.1 KLSX. We're back live from the House of Blues. You and I are listening to 97.1 KLSX, the classic rock station where you're hearing David Lee Roth 
live exclusively over KLSX. We're going to rejoin the concert in just a moment. I want to remind you where this place is. If you have never been to the House of Blues, Lord have mercy, you are missing one of the cultural high points of Southern California. So come on down and check this place out. Really, no matter who is playing here, it will be an experience you won't forget. So, uh-oh, let's get back to it. David Lee Roth live from the House of Blues. You're listening to KLSX. See the essential difference. Now the traveler don't know where they go going. Tourists don't know where she is. Small world to they lose your luggage. Though. Take the strip of the music show. The experience kid was 21. Going on 44. Yeah, but luckily that ain't how she sees it. Got a new tattoo that says, When I die, send the body to heaven.
David Lee Roth, live from the House of Blues. Let's hear it. He's got the band out on stage. They're all taking a bow now. Ladies and gentlemen, that was great. Uh, you just heard his great version of California Girls, the Beach Boys song. David taking a couple more bows. Before that, the Van Halen tune ain't talking about love. Land's End from the new album. We also heard Paradise in the set. A Willie Nelson song called Nightlife, done really well. Uh, also a tune called uh, Hey, You Never Know. Another Van Halen song, Beautiful Girls. Crowd went nuts for that one. Sun, uh, a very eclectic kind of song called Sunburn, also from the new album. The old standard gigolo that uh, he made so popular from his first solo album. Uh, and the title cut from his latest album, Your Filthy Little Mouth. Lord have mercy. <laughs> also a little luck, uh, that was from the new album, She's My Machine, which starts off David uh, Lee Ross' brand new album. Your Filthy Little Mouth. We had Experience, Panama, another Van Halen song. And he began that set with Big Train. This is an exclusive live broadcast from the House of Blues. I'm Jim Ladd, and you and I are listening to 97.1 KLSX, the classic rock station. As you can hear, the crowd is still going nuts. They want him to come back out and do some more. Now we have... Uh-oh. Ladies and gentlemen... Once again, David Lee Roth, live from the House of Blues. You're listening to KLSX. When I was just uh, just starting out in the music business, I used to play at a little place up the street called Gazzari's. And old Bill Gazzari taught me probably half of everything I know about the music business. He used to talk like this. And he used to tell, i say, Bill, is there anything you should, that I should know before I go on to make music? He'd say, yeah, you always play the fucking show. You play your fucking show and that's what you do. And I used to sit out in front of Gazzari's and dream and say, someday, someday they're going to let me into the rainbow for free. <laughs> and I guess... In some strange fashion, I've taken the polar route from Gazzari's to the House of Blues, baby. <laughs> Decided to become a musician, stuck with it. Somebody asked me the other night, she said, David Lee, what would you do if you weren't, uh, if you weren't, uh, making music what do, you, do I got a heckler down here Is that what I who's heckling me who's, heckling? who's giving me a hard time 
Is it? Right down here? Is that your girlfriend standing right next to you there? Is it? Is that what it is? Well, let me, let me talk to her. Sweetheart, you gorgeous darling, I want to call you my little girl. I want to take you and caress you and adore you and touch you and show you what a woman you are. And you can surrender yourself as never before in your life as a woman while I kiss you again and again. Okay, Bob, now it's your fucking turn. Yeah. said to me what would you do if you weren't a musician Dave I said I don't know maybe I'd drive a truck she laughed she said David Lee you ain't nothing but a 12 year old with an old face what kind of truck would you drive and I told her ice cream truck Sometimes if baby needs something to keep you cool Then look out now, I got something for you Tell you what it is I'm your eyes, your man, baby It was me when I'm passing by yeah. I'm your eyes, your man, baby It was me when I'm passing by She know all my favors are guaranteed to satisfy <laughs> Check this out I got poom pam banana Dixie cups all flavors and push-ups too I'm your eyes, your man, baby It's me when I'm passing by She know all my flavors And I guarantee to satisfy Help me, fellas I got put my banana Dixie cups All flavors and push-ups too And I see me Stop me when I'm passing by She know all my flavors Guarantee to satisfy
Ladies and gentlemen, live from the House of Blues, David Lee Roth. You're listening to 97.1 KLSX, the classic rock station. David Lee Roth has just left the stage. We'll stop here for a moment, catch our breath, and we'll be right back. I tell you that people are just, you know, kind of reeling from uh, this wonderful performance from David Lee Roth. This guy has not lost a step from his days with uh, Van Halen. He's uh, in great shape and just ready to rock, as you heard. And I think that he's got some very interesting songs on his new album, and it deserves a... A listen in the privacy of your own home. I'll definitely be playing some more of it uh, when we uh, get back to the station. I got uh, my eye on several of these tunes. I think we got to start adding to the show. Anyway, this is 97.1 KLSX, the classic rock station. Cynthia Fox, by the way, has already left the building. But we've got, uh, what, about 40 more minutes with you tonight. So let's do uh, some blues from the House of Blues. This is Derek and the Dominoes. Go ahead and roll it. 1.1 KLSX, the classic rock station. And Cynthia and I are now joined by an incredibly fit-looking David Lee Roth, my man. I'm just standing sideways. How are you, Cynthia? Jim, good to see you tonight. Good to see you, man. Oh, here we go, lighting up the night sky. Yeah, this is the kickoff of the American tour, you know? Yep. What, what do we have here? About 1,500 of our close personal oh, friends. Of course. And then the audience, you know. This is a <laughs> is the right place to do it too uh, yes and it, it's it, it's a great thing that somebody finally put in a real classy place that's got a lot of a lot of funk to it and that has live as much attention to the nightlife as well as what's happening on the stage they, wow they poured as much into the sound system and what they've got going here with the stage and the lights and so forth it's great to have both under one roof finally huh that, that is the amazing the aesthetics and the technology kind of meet you know it's yesterday and today um, let me talk to you for a minute because, believe me, your security people gave us the lecture. David will be down for 3.4 seconds. <laughs> Elvis and then has he's left gone. the building. Exactly. <laughs> um, you have this uh, really an, an extraordinary CD Thank called you. uh, Your Filthy Little Mouth. And tell us a little bit about this story. Cynthia and I were talking about it earlier. You moved to New York voluntarily, I assume. <laughs> For like a, two years. That's right. You don't. They don't send you to New York. That's in a movie. You <laughs> sure? <laughs> Where they send you to New York. York right. bad. No, New York. It's a love and a hate relationship. I have no no uh, pretensions that I'm going to screw on a beret and force my little coconut head through a turtleneck and convince you that those are my bongos and that's right. my poem. You right. know. But New York is. Um, it's distant. It's sarcastic. It's disbelieving. It it grades on a severe level, if at all. And it's a lot more like the family dinner table that I grew up at and yeah. it got the best out of me then so a little closure we return it, it, it kind of said in, and I love the fact that you wrote this description of your exploits in New York but it seemed like you, you described living in a place that was kind of central and this whole scene was going on around you at the DMZ. The demilitarized zone, which I liken to, you know, when I was, when, uh, you know, we were watching the news and it was Vietnam, the DMZ was where everybody put their hospitals and their schools and the uh, convents and what have you. And that, I live right in that area, just, it is the north part of the Lower East Side. Now, if you've ever been in there, you know exactly where I'm talking about if you've been in New York. And it's the DMZ. And right on one side of me, just up the street, is the methadone clinic. On the other side is a bunch of the churches. In fact, rehab is just around the corner. There's a hospital across the street, and the police cadet training school is just around the other corner. So no matter who you are, you're going to use one or more of the facilities <laughs> sooner or later, and there's some space between the people. It's kind of quiet. There's not a lot of crime, because if somebody's going to start screwing up in the streets there, they're going to move the methadone clinic back down to the Bowery, and who needs to walk that far? <laughs> Very good. Very good. That's just a sink reason to live there. Me, I'd rather be by the pool in Bel Air, but hey, you know, whatever you want to do for art, uh, Dave. Is you know what me. it is. It's a crash course. Your world will collide with 17 other worlds right off the bat. You're going to get a lesson in Pakistani social politics in the car. Who's going to? You're going to learn a little bit about uh, New Time China from the door guy, who's not yeah, going to yeah. give you the trouble on your way into the Spanish restaurant. And see, that's it's New York. It collides. It, it barrages you, and yeah. I like that. It does. Yeah. That. Now, Dave, I have to ask you something because I, I really want to embarrass Lad at this point. Now, we've been doing a lot of great oh, live okay. broadcasts from the House of Blues, 
And so far, Lad has his perfect record going. Where every, it seems like every single time we do a live broadcast, somebody from the stage will mention Jim Lad's name and dedicate a song to him. I'm sorry, Dave. So, <laughs> sorry, Dave. So if you could maybe, Very you know. sorry, Dave. Oh, yeah. Because you know, otherwise, it's going to break <laughs> his heart. To it's going to break his Jesus. heart. If you don't say something before just a gigolo for Jim Lad, I think he's really going to be correct. I, I think we can set up. This is not the kind of show where it's, you know, oh, where, where it's hard to find me. You know where I work. You know, this is not. In fact, we're already been taking requests. I got one earlier here. Let me just read this. Nope, I'm going to sing anyway. So. <laughs> Now, your Cynthia, request just, is easy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Just want you to check the brakes on your car, darling. Oh, yourself. come on. Jesus, thank come you. On, is my face build, red now or what? We have to build his ego. We have to. We All have right. to. That's the only reason I'm here. Oh, come on. Tireless tireless <laughs> promotion is the American way. Jim, wise up, man. Yeah. There's nothing. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is where Rolling Stone magazine will kick your butt if you refuse to promote yourself. The next thing you're oh, he tell won't me do an interview now, huh? Okay, Mr. Big Lad. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> so what are you going to tell me? The 60s are over or what? I don't know. I, I, I'm part of a, one of several generations who are still trying to drag it out. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. Well, God, it, it's, you know, I'll tell you what. And, and I, now that I've been thoroughly embarrassed, let me just say to anybody who has not spent some time with this album, you, you may think you know David Lee Roth, but I'm very serious. Unless you sit down and listen to this album in its entirety, kind of the, you know, and, and really understand the lyrics of it, you're missing something. And I just want to leave them with that thought. Thank so you very much, to Jim. This it's going to be great to see you. I'll see you at the, uh, meet me at the bar in 32 measures. Good, good. <laughs> well, uh, uh, do, yeah, don't forget to tip your waitresses. They have families and drug problems of their own. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I'd, I'd, no, please, I gotta go. Okay, okay. <laughs> knock him dead. Thank you, David. All right, All right let's go into uh, let's go into this one from David Lee Roth. Thank you for joining us. You're listening to KLSA. I think you're, you're getting a great. I think this is a great event. I think, it, I I think, think it's really. Jim, I mean, I think it's a great event too. But I think there needs to be a compromise. It's like the David Lee Roth we play certain songs and certain songs and we don't. We're so far away. I don't know. Well, we did the whole thing with uh, Jeff Healy, who's somebody we should play, and we don't. Great song from you two called In God's Country. Uh, before that, David Lee Roth, his own self from the new album. You're breathing it. Uh, I know you probably didn't get a chance to hear too many of the words with all of what's going on, but mm -hmm. uh, I recommend that one for one of those songs I said to go listen to when you can really kind of concentrate on what it says. And it, it's a social comment with a great deal of humor in it. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, yeah. He, I mean, he has something to say, but he says it in a way that is very funny yet very poignant. So we're seeing different dimensions. Of, of David Lee Roth, David I'm Lee serious. Roth. Yeah, it's well, not... Good. It's it's not just Diamond Dave here. That right. You're, uh, There's growth, and he's exploring uh, yeah different yeah. things lyrically. Yeah. Right? yeah. Yeah. Some very literate, very funny things in this album. That's well, good. Uh, we're expecting Diamond Dave, his own self, yeah, David Lee right. Roth, to uh, take the stage in just about four minutes. Let's try to get these uh, commercials out of the way. We will be back live from the House of Blues right after this. Mm -hmm.